Marcus. Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Sorry I'm not in a gi, it's in a wash. Um, all right, today is about using your distance optimally doing Gyakuzuki. Very important subject and many people make mistakes with it. But before that, think of, uh, about it, there is distance between me and the opponent. Your opponent and yourself. And then there is distance of your own technique. Whether it's Gyakuzuki, my guy. And each technique has its own range or ranges of distance. In the case of Gyakuzuki, I, look, sh your foot make the distance. Try to think of your foot inside the opponent foot. And then rotation last. Right? So if this is my opponent, foot set the distance. <coughs> rotation last. So there are two components, shifting and rotation. Right? And many times people shift too much and rotate too little. Shifting cannot increase as much energy in a short space. Rotation is the major energy. Hey, so, shift, <coughs> rotation last. You don't want the rotation to be gradual from beginning to end. You want, to be, you want the rotation to be only the last moment when the foot enters the ground. Then, rotation. Yeah, it's safer too. You see, because I'm narrow, I'm not wide open. Narrow and <coughs> the rotation is faster all at once. And shifting and rotation join energies. Sensei Dijabu used to explain it as a car accident. I, not car accident, sorry. Let's say you drive your car, you push the brake, but only your left brake work, the right is not. What happened? The car will spin. See there? When you stop, the energy will get spin. And this is the same here, you see, when my foot stop. Foot stop, reaction to, to the hip. So shifting <coughs> become rotation. Right? So try to think about it. Shift, rotation. Right? So for any, any place that you are, you should know where your foot should be. <coughs> yes. So practice like that. Again, the bag, meats, even just any target curtain, height, more distance, <coughs> short distance. <coughs> if it's very short, <coughs> just rotation. Right? <coughs> just enough. Don't overshift. Don't shift too little and then reach. That's very bad. Big chance for your opponent. Hope this is helpful, but try to remember, shifting and rotation. Shifting is mainly for the distance, but it's of course some energy. Rotation is major energy. Your foot controls the distance. Try to utilize the full rotation. Was